What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Please like and share this video throughout all social media platforms. As reported by Aaron Wilson of the Houston Chronicle, Malachi Wyman, star wide receiver, has accepted into the NFL supplemental draft. The supplemental draft has been something that is on again, off again. They haven't done a supplemental draft since, correct me if I'm wrong, before the pandemic. But I'm happy for Malachi Wyman. He is very talented. Don't forget he was a top 100 recruit. Standing at 6'5", 200 pounds. 40 inch vertical. Can jump out of the gym. Very raw but very talented. And even though he had a lot of touchdowns. His freshman year. Retro freshman year of 2021. He didn't even scratch his potential, not even close. And whoever drafts him in a supplemental draft is getting a player that they can mold into a star, someone that can utilize his uh, high catch radius. But you can't coach 6'5", 200, 4'4", speed. He has it. He has the build. He's a dog on the field. And there was no one in the SWAC in 2021 that can guard a man to man. No one. But this was what's best for Malachi. So he could focus on football and football only. Some team is going to take a chance on Malachi Wyman. Now, what I want you all to do after this video, I want you to tell me the team's who are interested in Malachi Wyman in the comment section. I'm going to be biased a bit. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys, they can use uh, a receiver with that freakish ability. They have Brandon Cooks, who's one of the fastest, not only the fastest receivers, but one of the fastest players overall in the NFL. But you need more speed and length in this league, and Malachi would do that for you. I was disappointed that Malachi Wadman wasn't given the chance to play as much. Whatever happened behind the scenes, it's none of my business. But he should have been on the field more. I stand on it and I will not apologize of it. It was so bad that every fan was asking, where is Malachi Wadman? They were asking that because they know how dominant he is. And this is not a shot at Colorado, but I saw a Colorado fan saying, man, I thought he was going to go to Colorado. Why would he go to Colorado when they cut his playing time in half in 2022? I, I just never saw that. But Malachi Wyman, man, what, what I saw from him that one year, his rusher freshman year, was truly amazing. Unstoppable. And he didn't even start the first game. Throughout the season, he became a starter. Could you imagine how many yards and touchdowns he would have had? He had 12 touchdowns, which is a lot. He would have most likely had 1,000 yards receiving. I'm going to be rooting for the brother, no matter what team he goes to. And if he's able to get drafted in the supplemental draft, that's going to be, again, another player drafted from JSU in their long history. And that's something that needs to be talked about. I know this video is about Malachi Wyman and his draft prospects, but I wanted to point out salute to Deion Sanders on overcoming the blood clot issue. Thankfully, uh, the doctors took care of it. It was a successful surgery and no need for him to have any amputations on his leg. He is healed. He is in good care. And this whole time, scratch that the video I made earlier, days ago when I talked about, I understand what Dion has done, how he left Jackson State. I wish it would have been better. 
just like a lot of people wish it would have ended the right way. But as a human being, one thing I never do is wish harm on any other human being. The problem with social media at times, it's toxic. It's uh, cult-like. People are followers, uh, so they follow the wave, so they're going to follow another hater, and somebody's going to hate on... I, I don't have the conscience to entertain negative energy. So I was happy to make that video, and I was happy to just to just to pray for the brother. Does that mean I'm a root for Colorado? Nah. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad he's healthy. And that's the most important part. To all the men that's listening, we got to get our health in order. We got to take screenings. I know it's uncomfortable. I know it's annoying. But we have to do it. You never know what health problem you may have. I wish my father would have done that. Done more screenings on his heart. We didn't even know he had a heart problem. But in 2013, he died from a heart attack from a supremely plaqued heart. Yeah, I'm just finding out that my family has heart problems. Family has diabetes problems. You got to get that checked out. Your health is so important to your family, whoever's listening. So, prayers to Deion Sanders and his family. I know he's going to bounce back. It's just a miracle. It's a blessing. Because usually, when you have blood clots that severe, your feet are getting amputated and so forth. So before I go, I want everybody to have a blessed day. Keep a positive circle around you and chase your dreams. This is Raw Truth Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Peace and blessings, and I'm out.